How's it going, Lane Ward? I'm uh, my name's Ward. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Um, and your your friend. That's my Trent Thibodeau. Trent Thibodeau. Trent Thibodeau. Nice Trent Thibodeau. Keeping it real, dudes. I don't know if you saw. We got a care package from our family down in uh, New Iberia, Cane River. Really? Dude, so it's pecans to you guys, right? Mm hmm They got us, like, the most massive pralines, and oh, wow. oh, it's good. It's perfect. And some of this stuff is very untraditional, but some of it, like this pecan brittle popcorn, I'm, I apologize if I interrupt your playing at any point. But oh, I don't care. It's treats from down there. We had some people on the other night asking for boudin, and I was like, they can probably find some of that and rustle it up if you need to. So where do you live, man? I live uh, in between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, like in between there. Okay. Livingston, Louisiana. Lizard stem? <laughs> Livingston, 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 Louisiana. Oh, I was like, does that explain the emoji in, the, uh, in your name or in your uh, Instagram description? That's amazing. Uh, well, how you guys been doing? Well, we we've been just hanging out at the house and um, fishing mostly. Really? Yes, sir. Man, that's one thing we uh, I live up in Hendersonville, which is outside of Nashville. Not really country, but we hadn't got out into the outdoors much. You get on the greenway in the uh, <laughs> the neighboring subdivision every now and then. But man, my friends that I see that are in the outdoors in uh, shoot Georgia. Florida, Louisiana now, sportsman's paradise. Um, mm -hmm. Y'all got it made, man. Well, it's uh, – it's, I don't think I've ever got tired of the river. I think I'm going to go tomorrow morning, hopefully. Maybe. Um, what's up? My mom, my mom is watching. She's from New Iberia. She said, is that the Atchafalaya Basin? Uh, no, not where we go. We um, – let's see. Um, Ponchatoula. In between Ponchatoula and Baton Rouge. We go to Lake Morpon, so – Gotcha. Well, dude, we have a great uh, Louisiana um, crew in the in the Whiskey Jam family. We, uh, Benji Davis, CJ Solar, uh, David Bournet, all these great artists that have been dear, dear friends of ours through the years playing the playing the show. I was so excited when they reached out about you playing on this. And it's been weird for us. Like, it's outside of our comfort zone. We're meeting complete strangers over Instagram. Uh, but dude. It's been awesome. It's been so great, like, seeing y'all, hearing music, uh, getting to talk, hear your story a little bit. Um, and I know a lot of people are familiar with you from American Idol. And that was just that kind of exposure and combined with your kind of talent is seriously like the biggest just shot of nitrous in the, the talent engine, you know, right now. Uh, how's things been going from there? Everything's been like a whirlwind. To be honest with you, it's it's just been like a, a blur. It's um it's been so fast paced and everything's just going by really fast, you know. Yeah. Well, I guess if this is anything slows you down in this whole quarantine time or the home time as we we've been calling it. Um but yeah, dude, like going from what were you doing before American Idol? Uh before American Idol I was playing like <clears throat> me, him and uh, a couple of our buddies, we'd play around locally at, like, restaurants and bars and festivals and stuff. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. and, and so you're watching from sitting on your cajon at home watching, and you're like, wait, this is the dude that we, like, play in restaurants and nobody listens, and now yeah. he's got uh, Katy Perry and Lionel Richie, like, tearing up at shit. It's it's insane. <laughs> Definitely. That's crazy. It's That's the one of the coolest things about those – uh, about those shows. We've had so many great friends come through. A lot of people from The Voice, I feel like, have end up in Nashville. Um, and just how it takes them from relative obscurity to, like, I mean, you, you see it in the comments here. People are freaking out. I know we got a ton of people watching just to check you out on at your house in front of the uh, the dish cabinet or whatever. Yeah, yeah so I'm in the kitchen. Dude. Um, I love it. I love hearing the stuff that I've seen on, on YouTube. We appreciate y'all coming on here. I uh, appreciate uh, you. Thank you for letting me come on in. Yeah, I'd love for you to show the people what you're up to, man. This is uh, it's a, a pleasure having you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we play a song? 
Yeah, dude. Show them what y'all do at the uh, at the restaurant and stuff. All so. right. What's the song should do first? Uh, let there be country. Yeah, we can. This is uh, Let There Be Country. Here we go. Okay. Money rings. That's awesome, dude. Lane Hardy, everybody, kicking things off here at Risky Jam. Uh, so I, that's I hear the Steve Mokler in that song. Mm -hmm. How do you get hooked up with these school? Are they writing for you directly, or are you getting to uh, kind of pick from songs that uh, – how's that working? Well, I'm not sure. I, they ain't writing for me directly, but um, last year when I was in Nashville, uh, a lot. Like, I was there for like three months straight. Uh, right Monday to Friday, yeah. And I ran into Jason Affable and and Marv Green and all them over there at Rare Spark, yeah. And uh, really nice guys, and I loved writing with them. So that song came across it like a, it was a pitch, and I heard it. I was like, this song is amazing. Like it sounds awesome. So Michael Knox did his little magic, and oh, dude. <laughs> so you got a dream team. Uh, I. That's crazy, man. That's, if people don't know Michael Knox, he's produced everything from Hicktown all the way to We Back for Jason Aldean, like one of the biggest producers in music, not just Nashville, you know. <clears throat> That's wild. Yes, what an opportunity, man. So you just released uh, your, what would you call it, just a, a single, if it was the, the 80s, you know, like a two-side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, I released two songs, Ground I Grew Up On and Let There Be Country. That's awesome, dude. And so you've been doing virtual tour stuff uh, in the in the light of this situation we're in, whatever, which is super cool, man. And you're doing with people we like with uh, Country Rebel. And who else are you on there with? Ace Country. Yeah, in, NY Country Swag. These people are just like everybody's doing anything they can to – I mean, A, just, like, stay 
in the scene, visible, whatever. It's hard right now trying to play this this new uh, online game, whatever. But it's mm-hmm. awesome that you're you're making the good rounds with good people. Um, what were did you have plans for this time before we got all shut down? Oh uh, yes, sir. I had some. I think I had some shows lined up, and I think they got uh, pushed back or or something like that. But I, hopefully. In the near future, we start playing shows again. But uh, I know. Well, it, if anything, I would guess that Louisiana would be one of the riskier uh, states to get kind of back at it. Mm-hmm. It you is. Know, alligators. They. They. I've heard. I've read some uh, studies where they are making antibiotics out of alligator stomach acids because they can get through anything, and just through the years. You have enough fried alligator at the fair. You have enough of the fish from down there, like crawfish. You're going to pick up some of those antibodies and stuff. I think y'all are safe. You know, <laughs> there's some places with, with weak, uh, weak gutted individuals that they're going to have to stay closed for a little bit longer. I would bet Louisiana staying open. Uh, what's the big uh, – why is it leaving me now? Texas Club. Mm-hmm. Dude, dude, yes, sir. You'd kill it there. Oh yeah, I, I think I've, I've played there once or twice. I opened up for some people. We have one book for there, I believe. Yeah. Hey Wade, I seen Wade in here. One of my buddies from American Idol from last That's year. Real? Yes, sir. How was that? It was like overall. Going overall, it was. And forgive me for not keeping up and not watching. Um, we have four kids. I don't watch much TV at all. Uh, well, overall, the whole like experience of being on American Idol, uh, it was just I didn't know what I was getting myself into. How did you and, sign up? How did you apply? Well, the first I went on the first season, and I auditioned. I didn't know what I was getting. My mom asked me to to go audition for yeah. her, and I was like, okay. I went audition, and I got season about one. Huh? Sir? Season right. one? Season one, yes, sir. So you've been singing since you've been five years old? Well, no. I've oh, like C- ABC on ABC. Uh, oh. They just rebooted me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I started singing about five and a half years ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's Wade Coda. Mm-hmm. I see him in there. Um, so you went on a couple years ago. I went on uh, 2008. Team. Okay. No, that's when it aired. But uh went on there, didn't know what I was doing. I got to I got to about top forty or fifty, got eliminated, came home, had some doors open for me. I played some some shows, um, out of state a couple times. Um and then my best friend's sister called me, she's like, Hey, I'm gonna try out for American Idol. Can you come play the guitar for me while I do that? I said, Sure. This sure, why not? So, went over there. We started practicing. She had to dial in on the song she was going to sing. And uh, we flew up to Idaho, uh, Coeur d'Alene. And I don't know what happened after that. Don't know what happened after that. I just... grabbed it. We went into the audition room. <laughs> and she sang. <laughs> she sang her song. Yeah, and she got the golden ticket. I was like, I was like, we were telling the judges bye. We were like, bye, y'all, whatever. And then Katy Perry said, Lane, can you sing us a song? Well, come here. He's like, come, come sing us a song. So I backed up. I sang it. And then I took a golden ticket and won. <laughs> Dude, in that moment, like what – you've been playing bars. You've been playing with your buddies. You've got a 1,000 songs you can sing by heart. What do you go to? I've been in situations like that where people are like, hey, there's a board. Grab a guitar and sing one. And I sing just the dumbest possible song ever. You know, I'll pull, I'll like, we'd be playing gigs in Nashville and there'd be like really important people. I'm like, you got this one chance. And I'll pull out like a Daryl Worley B side that nobody's ever heard before. I'm like, they're going to dig this. You know, what do you do at that moment to just slay it? You talking about like a song? What song would I sing? Yeah, how did you pull it? Like, how, how did you decide what to play? You're like, okay, a lady wants so a song. It was like a it was like a split decision I had to make. I was like, 
okay, this is the last song I ever played, so I started singing the wait by the band. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't like auditioning or nothing. I was just singing for them. Dang. Happened. Dude, and that's one of probably the top five, like anybody that it enjoys hearing a song would love to hear that song. That's crazy. That's awesome. Uh, sure. I dig your Elton John, uh, the, the song you did on the idol. Dude, that was freaking so good. It's hard to pull off a song like that that is kind of obscure, you know, but by the time you get into the, the chorus, you start going, you start thinking about, like, how good the song is and how good Elton John was. When you make, when an artist makes you respect, I don't know, it's a confusing thing, but watching that, I was like, dang, dude. That Pulling song that, was, like, like, besides, like, the group rounds, Yeah, that was the second time when, when I was on it that I didn't play with the guitar. So, yeah. me, I was sitting back in the back room. Bobby Bones was sitting next to us, all of us. <laughs> and he was just helping us out. And I was like, yeah. hey, Bobby, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> He's like, don't – make sure you keep your elbows by your side. Don't don't open your elbows or nothing. He said, like, keep them by your side. I said, okay. He said, go. It's time to go. I walked up. Stairs got up there. All of a sudden, boom. <laughs> he just I had to start singing. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I don't think I did. Okay. But, but you're like, don't lock – don't do your elbows. You're like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> But that was a trip, dude. I, I remember the silver suit. Like, you look like a, a superstar. And mm -hmm. you I, see something? Like, I don't know if I can do that. What? Go grab it. Yeah, go grab it. Gonna grab it real fast. It's right here. I can grab the it. The suit? Oh, dude. <laughs> yes. We got this is what we have Jason Myers in the house for moments like this. <laughs> Country music gold. The silver suit from American Idol when he sang something about the way you look tonight. Uh, I would say an Elton John classic, but it's more one of the more obscure ones. Yeah. Excuse me while I shake up the cocktail. We got fancy tonight. There you go. Yeah. Found it. Oh, man. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Fine. Oh, yes. Dude, that thing, that should just be in, I don't know if it should be in a shadow box on your wall, or if it should be the thing you wear every single day? <laughs> um, you know? This is the most comfortable suit I had on the show. <laughs> That's amazing. I have... on it. If we have a minute, I'd love to hear a split a, a little second of that. I know I'd love to hear your other song off the EP or off the, the latest release. But man. Well, I don't, you know, I don't know how to play that Elton John song. I haven't played it in a while. Got gotcha. you. His, dude, uh, his stuff like he wrote it on piano, and you can tell when you try to play those guitar, those songs on guitar. Yeah. Um, I used to do. Guess that's why they call it the blues, and it was like forty chords. Sixty chords in two words. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's crazy. No, no capos on the piano. He's just rolling. We're like, oh. <laughs> yes, sir. I can play the weight a little bit of the weight if you want me to. Yeah, let's see that. I want. I'm gonna put myself in the moment. I did like a little. We'll do a little breathing exercise. Bring yourself there. Katy Perry. I am Katy Perry. Okay. Hey, you good? All right. Awesome. I can't imagine them being like, hey, you, come, give me here a second. And then you start playing the guitar like that. That's awesome, man. Cool, cool story. Um, appreciate y'all coming on here in the middle of the night uh, to, a strange, to a strange place. Uh, do you have time for, for another song? Yes, sir. I can play the um, ground I grew up on. For Dude, each. that would be awesome. I love anything and everything uh, Josh Thompson. 
And Brandon Kenny's a great dude too. Uh, He's awesome. I wrote with him before all this happened. Oh, for real? Nashville, I wrote with him. He was, dude, I think he was the last person I wrote with. That's great. What a cool experience going to town, writing with real, real country. I don't want to call like, I don't mean it in a, in a kind of strange way. These guys are country writers. You know, there's some people that write music for country radio mm -hmm. that are whatever, raised in the city, uh, live in fancy houses. But then there's guys that are country that write songs. Mm -hmm. And man, like Josh and Brandon, great examples of dudes who like, they'd rather probably be out hunting turkey but yep. they gotta they gotta write songs so they can keep up their turkey hunting habit. You know? yeah. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Dude, Brown, I grew up, it has a cool music video to it too. We shot that here, yeah. actually, with my real actor. Oh, my and y'all are running around on back in the freaking We're bayou here. We're in the, on the river and everything. That's awesome. Here we go. Brown, I grew up on. Just us flow. That ain't just nothing but an old fishing hole. Ain't just some rooster crow. It's where I learn how to be a boy. Washed in the blood and red dirt mud. Kind of glad I didn't have a choice. So, girl, just kick back and that shotgun. Let me show you where I'm from. Girl, where I'm from. Might look like nothing but gravel roads and tractors rolling over them fields and praying that we get a little rain soon and cutting loose and hammering down wheels and knocking them body not beers back by the train tracks and thinking that I'd never miss this place when I got gone. That's the ground I grew up on. Yeah, that's the ground I grew up on. Girl, don't blame. You might miss it all. It's where I can fix anything I broke but the law. It was hard to leave. Girl, that's the truth. But you know if I stuck around this little town, I'd never found you. Might look like nothing but gravel roads and tractors rolling over them fields and praying that we get a little rain soon. Cutting loose oh, yeah. and hammering down wheels and knocking them body not beers back by the train tracks. Thinking that I'd never miss this place when I got gone. But that's the ground I grew up on. Yeah, that's the ground I grew up on. Well, the tails are as tall as a corn grows. Maybe who knows? If we're lucky, maybe one day at her back door. Might look like nothing but gravel roads and tractors rolling over them fields and praying that we get a little rain soon. And cutting loose and hammering down wheels and knocking them body not beers back. By the train tracks and thinking that I'd never miss this place when I got gone. But looking back, I couldn't have been more wrong. Cause that's the ground I grew up on. Yeah, that's the ground I grew up on. That is awesome, man. Sounds great. Sounds uh just as good as what I've heard on on the show. Um, this is Lane Hardy. I'm sure a ton of people on here know. Dude, just so you know, we have way more people watching right now than we normally do. So thanks for bringing in some new people to to the Risky Jam. We do this thank every Monday. And thank you all. And thank hey, you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Uh, what's up next? Uh, what's that? Sunday night with NY Country Swag? I think so, yes, sir. Or Sunday morning. Anyway, yes, he's doing virtual tour stuff. Check him back out. Uh, dude, that was awesome. Appreciate it, and great to meet you. Um, 
when things get back to normal in Nashville, I'm sure we'll see you up here writing, and uh, we'd love to have you at the regular show. That'd be awesome. Dude, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice meeting you. Appreciate it. Thank you.